Hello guys, uh, it's Verboss here and in this video I'm going to show you how to downgrade your iPad 2 to iOS 6.1.3. So the first thing you're going to want to check is to see if your iPad 2 is a CDMA, GSM and or a Wi-Fi uh, model. If it is a mid-2012 one, uh, then you cannot downgrade using this method. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, reset your iPad uh, to factory settings, basically wipe the iPad and uh, download the newest software version, uh, which uh, in this case is uh, iOS 9.3.5. If your device is jailbroken, you're gonna wanna use iTunes. And uh, if it's not, you can just uh, reset it from the device itself. So the next step is to download three tools and uh, connect your device to your computer. After that, you're going to see in three tools that your uh, iPad is not jailbroken. You're going to press uh, jailbreak now. You're going to press on Phoenix 5.0 as it's the only option. After that, you're going to see that uh, the Windows security stopped the threat, which is not really a threat. So uh, the jailbreak failed. So you're going to want to go into security, Windows security, and uh, deactivate the real-time uh, protection. So you're going to deactivate that. And then you're going to run the jailbreak again. Phoenix 5.0 and then start the jailbreak. Uh, it's going to ask you for your Apple ID. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and come back after I input it. It is totally safe. It is only needed so that uh, the profile containing the jailbreak can be uploaded to your device. Okay, so after you inputted uh, your Apple ID and uh, everything, uh, the jailbreak is going to load. This time it failed. I'm going to try again. Now uh, you're going to see on your iDevice that you just got the developer app uh, thing. You're going to want to open it. And then uh, trust it. After that, you can go onto your home screen and see that the Phoenix app uh, is downloaded. Uh, you can open it and uh, press prepare for jailbreak. Unless you want a mixtape, proceed with the jailbreak, begin installation, and uh, use provided offsets. Now, it's going to take some uh, time in order uh, for the jailbreak to be installed and uh, maybe it's going to take some tries. It uh, doesn't always work for the first try. Now you're gonna wanna open your iDevice and check if CDI is installed. Oh, this time it worked uh, from the first try, so I got lucky. Sometimes it will take a few tries uh, for Cydia to install. So you're just going to want to open Phoenix and uh, prepare for jailbreak. And uh, yeah, last time it took me about three tries. So yeah, now you're going to want to open Cydia. And uh, wait until a pop-up comes uh, and shows upgrade Cydia or something. Yeah. Return to CDI. So here uh, you're gonna want to press upgrade essential because we don't really need to upgrade CDI too much.
Now you're gonna wanna open Cydia. Press reload again. And now add the following source. Repo dot newstar dot net. Now you're gonna press add source. Now, hopefully, when you're going to open this repo, you're going to see all these packages. Now, you're gonna want to scroll down to KDFU app and open it and make sure to install it. Now we're going to press uh, return to Cydia. Now, after the KDFU app has installed, you can open it and uh, check which iPad you have. So if you have the iPad 2.1, you're going to download the iPad 2.1 uh, uh, package. If you have the iPad 2.2, 2.3, you're going to want to open the those ones. So now you're going to open back your computer, you're going to search uh, 3 tools iOS 6.1.3 and uh, press the first link that comes up and scroll down until you see the requirements. So now you have this iPad 2 thing, you're going to download whatever you see here. If it shows iPad 2.1, you're going to download the iPad 2.1 package. If you have the 2.2, 2.3, you're going to download those. Uh, now, it doesn't work. So I'm going to open the link in a new tab. Now this works. The next thing you're going to want to do is uh, Search three tools. Sorry, three tools. Previous versions, and uh, press on three tools update log, and scroll down until you see three tools v two point three eight. Now you're gonna wanna download that. and open it up yes install install now you're gonna wanna launch it okay now our uh, I IPSW file is downloaded uh, you can go on to three tools, go into flash and jailbreak, go on to pro flash, uh, import firmware, go on to downloads, wherever you have that IPSW, input it. Now you can see it appeared here and make sure you use quick flash mode not any of these options and now you're going to want to open the kdfu app once again on your ipad press find bundle download ibss find the ibss on ibss so it shows ready to enter kdfu mode so make sure your iPad is connected uh, to your uh, computer and press enter KDFU. So your, now your iPad is going to go black and it's going to disconnect from your computer. Now you're going to wait a few seconds.
Now you're going to unplug your iPad and uh, replug it. Okay, now that it's plugged back in, you're going to want to flash that uh, firmware, IPSW, whatever you want to call it, and uh, press flash anyway. Now it's going to load up some things and you're just going to wait. Now if you see the OG Apple logo then it should just be good news. And uh, your update is going to load. Now you are going to see that the flash is complete, so you are just going to press OK. And now you can just unplug your iPad from your computer and wait. Now as you can see, your iPad has been successfully downgraded to iOS 6.1.3. So you can just go through the normal setup and enjoy a less glitchy version of iPadOS. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And if this video helped you, a like and a subscribe would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.